Okay, what's up, you two? Finally got around doing this firewall. I'm getting ready to prime it, and uh, I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me. So here we go. First time uh, doing this, but uh, let me finish this and I'll uh, put you back on. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. Uh, I finished it. Turned out pretty nice. As you can tell from the other videos, uh, I wasn't. Uh, I got ahead of myself and I didn't put my tarp up there and catch an overspray, but I fixed it and it turned out pretty nice. I like that gun I was using. It's a uh, dresser ran or Ingersoll ran um, gun. I bought it at Track Supply. It was 99 bucks. 79 or 99 bucks, I can't remember. But uh, get over here to this firewall here. It looked pretty good. I got a run in it. It had some pinholes in it from the uh, from the bodywork or whatever. So I just put a couple more coats of primer on there and it ran but I blocked it down and uh, take care of that but yeah it turned out pretty good uh, check out this drill press my wife bought me and this uh, vice I don't know why she's spoiling me I think it's uh, she want me buy her house so I think that's what it is. She also bought me this. And, uh, this is a gun I use. It came with this little regulating valve or whatever. Kind of seems like a little overkill to me, especially with this filter on it. Uh, that gun seems pretty long and it's got a pretty tall cup on it. So it's got a pretty big cup on it. Um, it's an HBLP gun. Like I said, it's a Ingersoll ran. Let me step over in the sunlight. It's an Ingersoll ran. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that gun, it, it laid out pretty good. It's, done so good I think I'm gonna go buy another one and have that for my clear and this is for my base and primer gun um, that's how that's how much I liked it I only used it that one time and it made that much of an impression on me but uh I'm about to uh, get ready to put this rubberized undercoating up in this uh, upper cowl area and uh, I got this idea from um, Oh, uh, shoots. He's up in Canada. I think of his name in a little bit. I want to say Rick. But, um, this is what I saw him doing. It he said he does it to all his cars out in his body shop. And I, I was kind of thinking the same thing because I didn't know how I was going to get in there and paint all that. So, give me a few seconds. I'm going to put this on and then, uh, get it back on. What's up, YouTube? Uh, Sunday. I hear at it again. Uh, undercoated the half of this first half of this car, so I can put my subframe back under there and uh, start moving forward. 
but uh this is the first coat i think i'm gonna put one more coat on it it's a little light in some spots but it's not it's not bad i like it and i use this uh herky liner here i know i showed you guys before but that's what i use and i undercoated i use that spray rubberized 3m undercoating inside of here and uh, the guy that I was mentioning yesterday, his name is Rick at Old Time Garage. That's who uh, I got this idea from. Uh, he's out of Canada. But I uh, had to take this little mechanism here off. I don't know what it's called, but had to take it off. And uh, that's it sitting over there. But I couldn't get to it. And good thing I did because all this was kind of rusted up a little bit. So I gotta scuff it up I kind of scuffed it up I gotta do a little bit more to it and uh, I blocked that run out it turned out really good I got a little bitty spot right here I need to fix but and then I have dropped some of that rubberized undercoating over here but other than that it turned out pretty good uh, you don't got no complaints. Uh, got me some new shop lights here. And that's... I got those from the lumber yard. It was like $15.99 a piece. And I got one over here. And the big mess over here. Uh, I'm going to get in and get all this cleaned up. I've been saying that for a couple days now. But <laughs> I got to I gotta get in and do something with this. I try to keep it off and over here on this side. That way I can just mess with my car, but it's it's getting ridiculous. So I got to get in there and get that straightened back up. Uh, Got this little, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet. This is my nephew's electric uh, motorcycle, but uh, the motor controller on it burn up. And I've been trying to search one down for weeks now. And I'm having a hard time finding the exact one. I found a couple of them on eBay, but they're not the exact one. And the wire colors are different. And I don't know which wire goes to what. So I want to try to find the exact one. But who knows? I'll keep looking. If I don't find nothing, I'll just take the front forks off and the rear tire. And probably just make him make him a motorcycle. 79 cc motor or something uh i picked this up yesterday for 25 bucks yeah it's one of those mr heaters and it's gas and electric power so i got it this one winter's winter's pretty much over here we're probably gonna get one or two more snows but it's pretty much over here um but yeah that's all i got youtube uh i'm going to house Call it a day pretty early today. It's not too often that uh, me and my wife is both off and uh, here at the house at the same time with the kids. So I'm going to try to make the most of it. Yesterday I worked out here for a couple hours and then we uh, went and barbecued and stuff. Played some baseball. So today I think we're going to do the same thing. Barbecue and go play baseball. So... You guys take it easy. Peace.